Hey there, happy Monday. It's Scott Stoltz with Teaching to Lead, and I have a nugget uh, helpful for a career that I want to share because something happened to me this past week and weekend that I put a lot of thought into, so I wanted to throw that out there for others to think about too. And it's something that comes up a lot. It's something that comes up regularly, and that's the art of storytelling and how that can help us in our personal life and in our career. So last week I was working with a colleague and recording some videos and she said to me, and I'll share a little bit more about her in a minute because she's amazing. And when we got done doing a few videos, she made a point to tell me that I am more of an explainer than a storyteller. Okay, more of an explainer than a storyteller. And why is that important? Well, you know, it's great to know and have a lot of information and content in our head and uh, you know be a subject matter expert but what really separates people and helps them move forward in their career and differentiates some from others is their ability to tell a good story because that's how we connect with people we connect with people through storytelling and whether it's through personal life when you're just around friends or family or in your work in your business in your career if you're in sales you know you want to establish a relationship filled with trust and a lot of the ways that we connect with people now is through stories and that's been actually i don't say now that's the way it's been for years since we were and how we've been evolving we're drawn to stories people people are hungry for stories so that when when catherine said that to me catherine storing and she's a colleague of mine another principal coach with boston speaks and she's amazing she is a book writer and author and teaches people how to um, you know, how to write, how to tell their story. So immediately working with Catherine, she was able to recognize that I was good at explaining a lot of stuff around my work, which is helping others create fulfillment in the work they do, create joy and fulfillment in the work they do. And there's all these different angles and areas in which to come at that and address and share about that topic. And I've made a concerted effort in the last like four or five months to try to become a better storyteller. I think I'm a good storyteller when I am with friends and talking casually, but I know, um, and I'm very aware of this, that when I am talking business, when I am talking shop, when I'm talking work, things that I do, I'm, I'm often laser focused and like to get right into the meat, the red meat, and not so much the fluff and I think I, um, well, I've been aware for a while that I want to become a better storyteller. So thank you, Catherine Storing, for calling that out and sharing that with me. And I really appreciate the way you called or said or referred to me as an explainer. Don't be an explainer, be a storyteller. So my story for today, Monday, February 26th, 2018, is what are you doing to work on your storytelling skills. What are the things that you're doing, whether it's just an awareness standpoint or um, you know, that you are, are you watching TED Talks? Are you watching videos from other talks? Are you observing people that you work with? And are you noticing how you're connecting with people? And in some cases, when you're not connecting with people, are you able to, you know, get a good read or feel for why you may not be. And it's just something to think about. Maybe it's because you need or want to become a better storyteller. And it's just, you know, again, we're hungry as human beings, as people, the way we've evolved, we're hungry for stories. That's how we're drawn to, and that's how we connect with, with people. So work on your art and your ability to tell stories, even if you're just doing, you know, like a lunch meeting, um, a meeting in general. And of course, we always have in some meetings, in some corporate and business settings, you got to get right to the point and you have specifics and tactical things to work through. Totally understandable. But just remember, think about the role that storytelling can play. And, you know, not that long ago, I did a uh, podcast with uh, my friend, uh, a lifelong friend and a colleague, uh, Rui Santos, who is a director in finance for a large pharmaceutical company. And he does a lot of presentations and meetings talking about numbers. But he was very clear in that podcast that his ability to deliver data and information with a story around it is what's helped him. It's one of the biggest things that's helped him in his career. Okay. 
So storytelling, being very aware of our ability to tell stories and using that as a tool to connect with people, it'll increase your career trajectory and it'll increase your relationships, it'll enhance the relationships that you have. So, so be very aware and think of a way that, um, you know, if you see this video, shoot a comment over too, like what are the ways, what are your concerns or questions around storytelling? And even better and more specifically, what are the ways that you are working on your storytelling skills and ability? So I'd love to hear how you're doing that. And uh, I am gonna go back to working on some of my storytelling skills because I don't want to be known as an explainer. Thank you very much, Catherine Storing. I want to be known as somebody who is a good storyteller, resonates and can connect with people. And I know I connect with a lot of people, no question. Um, this isn't me being overly critical of myself, but it's, it's, by the way, another good thing, being open to feedback. Being open to feedback, which will help us improve. So this is a great example. Uh, did some videos with Kat and she made her observations and I know, okay, this is something I wanna work on a lot more, especially when I'm recording. Uh, Kat was interviewing me, so especially when I'm being interviewed, use the art of storytelling more than explaining. So I can improve my relationship skills, all right? So think about it, let that soak in, work on it. What are you doing to become a better storyteller? I'll see you all again real soon. Thanks, bye.